Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod Tournament of Robotic Champions Middleweight Tournament Finals. This week we're going to find out who the champion of all these robots really is going to be. Of course, they're going to have to defend their uh, title in the um, final uh, in the um, final against the losers bracket, the winner of the losers bracket. We've got some interesting matchups this week, including Red Zone's Red Alert versus Team Spikehead's Insanity, Team Z's Razorback versus Team Riot's Vengeance, and then the winner of those two matches there will go up against um, the fi will go into the final round. It's a best two out of three match. We've got the combat arena. Uh, death match is on, and without further any further ado or any further delay, let's see what these bots can do. Welcome to the combat zone. The fans are in a if I had to take tonight. a wild guess, I'd have to give it to and Red Alert. For some bot flesh He's got. We're seeing some. Not sure. And Not sure why it skipped out of nowhere. Whoa! And a heavy hit from both bots. As Red Alert 2 and Insanity meet in the center of the ring. It looks like. Whoa! Looks like Red Alert 2 has taken off Insanity's main weapon with a heavy strike. Can Insanity actually pull this back now that his main weapon's been taken out? A lot of damage by Red Alert 2 with over 8,000 points now. He's caving that chassis in. It looks like he's taken off one of the um, one of the guard protectors on the front of Insanity. Without his main weapon, he doesn't seem to be able to fight back. The audience is going wild. Looks like Red Alert 2's got Insanity backed into a corner. Oh, it's, it's about all she wrote, folks. But Insanity's got one more try. Ooh, to try to turn it around. All right, I'll get that written down and, well, I guess I don't have to write it down, but let's just get right into the next match. With over 11,000 points, Red Alert a very, very strong showing, so that's one for him. Welcome to the combat zone. There is nowhere to hide. In I keep this calling him Red Alert 2. <laughs> the saws and spikes are ready I keep for calling all of the robots tonight. 2 because We've they win two rounds in a row. And design I see those little tonight. checkpoints next to their names. And it gets me all confused. It gets me all confuzzled. So that's one for Red Alert 2. Watch it. Okay, this time I don't want to miss the strike. Boom! Got it. Okay, the first initial strike sends Insanity flying. It looks like he's having a lot of same trouble with Red Alert now. As he's trying to get that main weapon right up underneath the chassis on Red Alert. Oh, and he's flipping him over. If he can get the full flip, he might actually be able to take this. Don't flip him back over. Oh, he doesn't want to toy with an opponent like Red Alert. Both bots now dancing over the arena spikes in a very dangerous area. The audience is going wild as they are locked into a dance of death. Insanity smoking now on fire. He's lost one of his guard protectors. And the other guard protector is gone. The audience goes wild as up oh, and there he goes. The same angle that cost him his weapon last time. If he's not careful, he's gotta get but he's gotta get up under red alert and flip him over and keep him there. It doesn't look like he's got enough power left in that main weapon yet though. Sparks fly as the two bots lock up together. Insanity's got to think of something good to do or he's going to wind up in the loser's bracket along with me and the others. His front chassis caves in as Red Alert pulls out all the stops and just keeps just keeps uh, spamming his weapon now. Insanity taking continuous chassis damage from the sheer weight of those hammers. Looks like this is about all she wrote and there it is. The match goes to Red Alert, who moves on to the finals. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back with the next match. And we're back, folks. In this match, we've got Team Z's Razorback. Bleh. In this match, we've got Team Z's Razorback versus Team Riot's Vengeance. Without any further delay, let's see what these bots can do. If I had to give it an, a vote on this one, I'd go with probably Team Riot's Vengeance. Uh, we're using the standard Welcome combat arena. Combat I know zone. it's uh, not too exciting, but I choose this arena because it allows me to get seats. some uh, decent camera angles that I can follow along with without, you know, panicking over uh, over trying to get good camera angles. Now, for the heavyweight tournament, I have experimented with the idea of using a ref bot. 
like uh, building a referee bot with the heaviest armor and no weapons that I could use to get some of those nice camera angles. Whoa! Oh, and there's the first hit. As Razorback flips Riot all over the arena. Oh, but those heavy hits are coming hard. That didn't sound right. <laughs> okay, it looks like Razorback is able to use his scoop device to flip Riot over. But those hammers deal massive damage every time it gets flipped over. Whoa! <laughs> Riot's really taking Razorback for a ride. It's uh, difficult to get anywhere near him. Both by uh, bots wind up dancing over the spikes now. Heavy damage is taken. They're moving around so fast it's hard to keep up with them. Whoa! Heavy hits being taken by Razorback, but he's still hanging in this. It's amazing that that flip device is still functioning. Razorback with over 10,000 points. Riot, whoa! Riot, did he knock himself out? Wow! So, teams, <laughs> spikes are just bouncing him around. I, I've got I've got to do a play-by-play. -play. Team Z's Razorback wins with 11,550 and 61 points. Team Z's, or Team Riot's Vengeance lost, even after having 15,000 points. But it seems like he took chassis damage due to the spikes, but man, that heavy damage, you would think that uh, Razorback would have had that, or uh, you would have think that Riot would have had that. See, that's why I like doing tournaments, because the more and more you boil it down to the better and better bots, the more you boil it down, the better the matches get. So let me, okay, Team Razorbacks, um, Team Z's Razorback, okay. And, okay. <clears throat> if you could even hear me over all the crowd shouting, goodness gracious. I I'm sorry, but you know, you just you just got to do it. It's got to be done. Um, okay, we're ready for the next match now. Let's see what all happens this time. But um, if you couldn't hear me over the crowd earlier, and now you can't hear me over the announcer. Skip. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch it. Why the heck not? Yeah, they're very interesting. But um, what I was saying earlier is that that's what I love about these tournaments because once you run a tournament, hey, hey, camera angle, hey, 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 what, hey, goodness gracious, why would my camera angle change? I'm sorry about that. The more and more you run these tournaments, uh, the better and better the matches get. All right, we've got. Razorback and Vengeance, uh, Razorback and Vengeance, back to their old, uh, back to their old shenanigans, but it looks like Razorback has actually lost all of his spikes this time. Riot might have this if he can hang in it long enough, but it looks like Razorback is still dealing damage with that scoop flipper. He better be careful though, oh, he's in a bad position. I don't want to cut the match even though I lost the camera angle because it's such a good match. Riot dealing heavy damage right now. Razorback losing parts and pieces all over the place. Now he doesn't have anything to flip himself over. He flies past Riot with abandon. Oh, he's on his back now with no way to flip over. It's just... Oh, <laughs> down to Riot just tearing him apart. Not much he can do now, but just wait for the uh, inevitable either count out or knockout. Oh, he just... Oh, no, not over the spikes. Oh no, he seems to be hitting the tires. Here he comes again for another strike. <laughs> and another, ooh, a heavy one there. The audience is loving the carnage. So see, that's what I thought was going to happen the first time, is that uh, Razor, uh, Riot was just going to rip Razor back up. But now he has no way to fight. He's back, oh, look at him still trying. Oh, Toro, Toro Bowl, Toro. <laughs> Maybe he can lure him into some arena traps. Whoa! A heavy hit. Is he actually dealing damage? He is. 5,053. Not much, though. <laughs> He's just... Man, it's a good thing that Vengeance or Riot is uh, self rideable or else he would have lost this a long time ago. Oh, it's it's so honorable to see him still try. God bless him. He's given it his best. <laughs> Both bots smoking now on fire. Actually, no, I think that's just uh, Razorback smoking on fire. 39 seconds left remaining for the audience to just 
<laughs> watch a few good hits and some carnage. Hey, the spikes are gonna activate, aren't they? Oh, spikes are showing some favoritism all of a sudden, uh, or some latency there. Ooh, some heavy, some more heavy hits from Vengeance as we count down the last 20 seconds. I am amazed that Razorback's armor has not given out yet. Just for funsies, I want to press tab and see what Vengeance is at. 26,428, my god. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's not the highest score I've ever seen, but it's pretty this impressive. And there we go. So, um... Team Riot's... Oh, oh, really? An aftermatch hit? Poor, poor sport. Poor, poor sport. <laughs> but, um... Riot's uh, Vengeance actually got that one, so we get to see a third match. That ought to be pretty interesting. Alright, folks, now for the final round between these two. Team Z's Razorback and Team Riot's Vengeance. Enter the Let's see what all we can do. Let me skip this intro so it doesn't screw up my camera angle. There we go. Don't miss the first hit. Boom! And there it is. Sorry if that was a little loud. Okay, so Razorback needs to focus on keeping ooh, distance from that hammer and not losing his spikes. With uh, with both bots uh, being, one bot being self rideable and one bot being invertible, it's a really, oh, good match. No way. Is Razorback going to finish there already because he hasn't lost his spikes yet? In the second round, he may have only lost so quickly because he lost all of his spikes. Uh, yeah, he's doing great. And there it is. Razorback goes to the finals. Wow. Okay. Oh, man. I feel terrible about that one. I mean, look at Vengeance. He's barely even damaged. Razorback's just got so many razors. You know, hence the name. But um, that's him in the finals, so I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back with the next round. Actually, the final round. All right, folks. Here it is. The long-awaited final round of the middleweight tournament. Now... For all intents and purposes, after the best two out of three rounds, the winner of this will be the heavyweight or will be the middleweight champion until the end of the losers bracket, where the losers will face each other, and then the winner of the losers bracket will face the reigning champion to see if he can defend his title uh, in at least one round. Then we'll go on to the heavyweight tournament, which I'm very much looking forward to. So I hope I don't hu uh bleh. I hope I don't hype this match up too much, but I am very much looking forward to seeing these two bots combat each other in the arena. And without any further delay, let's get right down to it. Welcome to the Screw that intro. Let's get it on. Ooh, a heavy hit from Red Alert. He's avoiding the spikes now, attacking the side of Razorback, a very wise decision, but it looks like Razorback is pushing him into a corner now. Ah, and just like that, he's gotten up underneath him. If he can manage to just keep accumulating points that way and keep uh, Red Alert pinned up against the walls, those hammers will be ineffective. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. All right, we're getting those good angles. Razorback pushing back again, keeping Red Alert in a corner, but it's difficult to get up underneath him with those hammers in the way. Some very heavy strikes as Razorback goes flipping over the hammers. That's an interesting strategy. Pushing Red Alert into the spikes, but getting spiked himself. Ooh, that's going to uh, cost him some points with the judges. Three Razorback Razors left on Razorback. Two, one. I think we're down to zero now. He's down to just his flipper weapon. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> some fast-paced action as um, Razorback... Oh, no, he's got one left. <laughs> as Razorback pushes, um, pushes Red Alert into the corners. He's still dealing damage, pushing him all around the arena, getting uh, damage with the arena traps. Trying to keep up in points. <laughs> then he does a cartwheel over his opponent. Some sumo wrestling going on here. Well, not really sumo wrestling, that's a lot of pushing, but the cartwheel, that one surprised me. Oh man, I think Razor's back. He's lost the last of his Razors. He's keeping Red Alert <laughs> into the corner. These two hate each other, it's like a grudge match. Um, uh, Red Alert's getting counted out. This could be it for him. Oh, yeah, he's going to hold him there. There it goes. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Okay, so Team Z's Razorback takes the first round um, due to count out, which I know that might upset a few people, but in reality, you got to admit, he made the right decision. He had no weapons left. It was his only way in winning. So uh, that's one for him. 
and we'll, uh, I don't even need to write it down, so that's one for Razorback, so let's see the final round. Actually, no, if, uh, if Red Alert, um, if Red Alert wins it, we'll have to go into sudden death. Welcome to the <laughs> okay. combat zone. During the intro, that's when the I'll make the marks. On the edge of their so that's seats. one for Razorback. The okay. saws and spikes are Woo! ready for so we've got that now. Tonight. We're seeing some okay, I hope the uh, intro doesn't screw up my tonight. camera angle. All I need to do is remember to press F2 and zoom out as soon as I can. And that works pretty well for those of you who are also recording Robot Arena 2. And the first hit, there it is. Just like last time, Razorback's got Red Alert pushed into a corner. He's trying to avoid getting caught on his side. I think these bots could... Ooh, okay. And Red Alert takes one of the Razorback spikes. I think these bots could better use the arena hazards. Okay, there we've got the flipping mechanism from Razorback coming into play now. But it looks like Red Alert's got access to his side. As they get caught in this deadly spinning battle, Red Alert is still able to deal heavy amounts of damage and Razorback is not. He's got to get at a better angle and push Red Alert into the corner, flip him over, get that, get that side weapon going, get him into the spikes, get him into the corner. Alright, he's still taking heavy amounts of damage, he's got to watch it, Red Alert's going to get to that control panel and then it's going to be all over for him. Uh-oh, it looks like the um, anti-skid skirt's starting to come off, too. Of course, I don't know if that will really make a difference against Red Alert. He doesn't really use much flip, uh, flipping weapons. Oh, and a nice close-up, seeing what's left of Razorback. One Razor, barely any chassis left as he pushes Red Alert around. He definitely gets a lot of points for control. Um, Red Alert for damage, Razorback for massive amounts of control right now. Pushing Red Alert into the corner, holding him there, waiting for that count out like last time. Audience is loving it. We've got Red Alert now too, going, just smoking now. Um, let me press tab real quick and see. We've got Red Alert 2 with 25,412 points versus Razorback with 11,000. So, uh oh, last spike is gone. Is that the last spike? Nope, that's um, part of the uh, protective plating on Razor Bla uh, Razorback. And he's got Red Alert 2 pushed up in the corner. I leave him there. It's his only way of winning. Razor, oh, oh. Red Alert's just got too much damage. Bang! And a heavy hit into the corner. Pushes him with all his might. I can barely keep up. Razorback is just so fast. Oh, no. And now he's lost his flipper. Oh, run away! Oh, no. Run away. He still won't run away. No, no, no. Leave him there. Leave him there. Leave him there. Leave him there. You could win. Let him get counted out. Leave him there. Leave him there. Oh no, come on, just leave him. There you go. Oh, but oh, it seems like a terrible way to win, but it's his only option. <laughs> the match there it is, over. Razorback for the win. <laughs> I, oh, I really did want him to win. Um, you know, he was the underdog in that match because Red Alert has really just been devastating. Let me get out of this so we can exit the music. But yeah, he mobilized in both rounds. Um, goes to Team... Z's Razorback for the championship. Very impressive, very impressive. I'll write his name down in the final bracket, and he will go up against the winner of the Losers Bracket Tournament to defend his title. But yeah, that was actually really interesting. I, I wanted Razorback to win just simply because he was the underdog, and Red Alert to or Red Alert has just been devastating all of his strongest opponents, like some some really strong opponents in this one. He's been just devastating because of his damage on that weapon. But um, hopefully you enjoyed the middleweight tournaments. Uh, stay tuned for the, uh, I guess, rematch, you would call it, um, on the loser's bracket. When the winner of the loser bracket gets to fight against the middleweight champion, then we're going to start doing the heavyweight stuff. So hopefully you're still enjoying the tournaments. Um, leave any helpful comments you have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.